Clash of Clans is adding another builder. I'll tell you all the details about it along with the other things coming in this update. This update is a goblin themed update. It would have been cool if they lined it up with the goblin season back in June and July, but with this goblin themed update, we're getting a temporary seventh builder called the Goblin Builder. Unfortunately, it is temporary, but how cool is it that Clash of Clans is giving us a progression boost, even if it's for a limited time? To get the Goblin Builder, all you need to do is be at least Town Hall 7, have all all five builders and that doesn't include auto and that's it you'll have an extra builder to use for according to this it's 17 days now be aware the number of days might change between now and the update but I'm confident that this is a pretty close estimate the goblin builder will work exactly the same as a normal builder except for a few things he'll cost a few gems to start an upgrade and the gem cost depends on the construction time of the upgrade so the longer the upgrade time the higher the gem cost the discounts from the gold pass will also reduce the gem cost required to start an upgrade. And if you decide to cancel an upgrade that the Goblin Builder is working on, it will still refund 50% of the resources like normal, but it will not refund your gems. And you should also know that any upgrades that don't finish before this event ends will continue upgrading until they're complete. You're also going to get a second Goblin to help with the research in your laboratory. That means for this limited time, you're going to be able to upgrade two things in your laboratory at a time and just like the goblin builder the goblin researcher will cost a few gems to upgrade something the majority of this update will be clan capital themed it's getting a new district defense and a new trap the new district is called goblin mines would have fit really well a few months ago it unlocks at capital hall level nine it has three new buildings which are going to be revealed tomorrow in sneak peek two and the new defense that comes with the district is the goblin thrower it basically throws a barrel with three spear goblins does damage on impact and then the goblins pop out and attack enemies. It has a max of five barrels it can shoot over the course of all the attacks on that district and the interesting thing is that the goblins don't disappear after each attack. They stick around to fight off whoever attacks that district next but they will reset after the entire clan capital has been destroyed. If you're familiar with the graveyard spell it's a similar mechanic but it's defensive instead of offensive. And then the new trap is a spear trap. I don't have footage of it but it shoots spears apparently out of all sides 10 tiles away at enemies. There are a few quality of life changes and personally quality of life changes are some of the most exciting things about an update for me. The troop information screens are getting a huge improvement including new preview animations of each troop and their abilities. I wish I had footage of this. Subscribe because I'm going to make a full video showing the before and after of every troop when I get my hands on it. Clash is also adding a pop-up notification if you try to upgrade your town hall on on a rushed base. It's basically gonna tell players, are you sure about that? It's basically gonna tell players that they should consider upgrading more offensive buildings and troops, but it's not gonna prevent them from going to the next town hall. Events are getting a new UI button for increased visibility, whatever that means. Clan Capital is getting changes. The Capital Hall upgrade requirements have been increased. Storage for Capital Gold is increased to 35,000. Clan Capital Jump Spell reduced to one housing space. Clan Elders can now initiate Capital Raid Capital base links are now available so you can copy bases and capital raid replays can be viewed from the raid weekend leaderboard. The research UI is being improved. The lab will now suggest which troops you should upgrade. And if you have something upgrading and want to start something new, it'll now give you a prompt to finish the current upgrade with gems just like it does with buildings and a bug with the clan castle deployment has been fixed. Subscribe because tomorrow's sneak peek is going to shock you.